Is Ninjago Dragons Rising any good? Let's discuss this. Ninjago Dragons Rising is actually not decent. It's actually well done. If you were to give me a piece of steak, I want you to give me this. This whole show is a steak. All in one. Now, let's explain this. Now, Ninjago Seasons, uh, let's go with Master Spinjitsu. Master Spinjitsu was able to get, uh, basically build up ma our main six characters very well. Especially in the uh, March of the Oni era, where they were able to build Lloyd's character and focus on Lloyd while focusing on other ninja. And since then, we've gotten a lot of seasons like that. To take Forbidden Spinjitsu, that season 11, season no, I'm gonna go say season 12 or 13. Um, take the island, for example, take a bit of Seabound and a bit of Crystallized. As much as some of those seasons may not be your favorites or might not even be good, I'm talking about Crystallized, um, we can basically go off the status that they do grow char our characters a bit, but what does this season do better than other seasons? Now, for a couple of years, we do need we did need a fresh start with our ninja, and I've seen a lot of people say that this show brings out the best in Lloyd, Kai, Nier, and Zane. And since part two's come out, Cole too. Um, we didn't see much of Jay. That was thirty six seconds, but people are still saying that it's pretty good. There's a large majority of people saying that we shouldn't complain about it, and I I agree with that. Now, these six ninja that we've grown up with, and that were in Ninjago Crystal, uh, sorry, not Crystallized Dragons Rising, sorry, really grew out. I have to say, the development between Lloyd and Kai this season, mic drop, just perfect. How could you ever write a perfect story with them like this? You couldn't get any better, and I can tell that if the next season is really a Kai-focused season, like everyone's been told old and heard about, Kai will get a lot more attention and he'll grow a lot more. And there's another thing I need to talk about Kai, but it won't be in today, this video right now. It's about how the ninja all have coped with past stuff and bring it back to the show. Stuff like that is very meaningful and you've grown your characters. Lloyd is now growing with a new team and he's training this new team, becoming a master. Something that Master Wu was. Kai is becoming a teacher, being there, just like how Master Wu was. Nia is obviously still the same. She's more agility and focused. She knows how to talk to Sora when she's putting herself down, helping her out, trying to teach her stuff. Zane is helping Mr. Froki understand and basically tell him he's not useless. He is a good assistant to the monastery. He's just got to focus a little more, and etc, etc. And they're really good together and they help each other which is really really good and then the thing with Cole is he's with his team he's been training a new group and with Jay we didn't need to see much of Jay because then that would have taken too much spotlight and it wouldn't get anyone hyped up for the next seasons people in my comments on my youtube channel and just on videos have said to me that having Jay come back straight away would have felt very basically dry because seeing him just come back straight away would have taken it away from what Cole, Zane, or the other ninja would have had. Having Jay be in this position that we don't know what's going on with him leaves a great arc for him to come back next season. Now tell me your thoughts about all of this in the comments. Like, subscribe, and check out my videos because it's been amazing. Peace.